Hello. I'm Mary. Hi. I'm Linda. <laughs> Pinky we're, Dolls. We're going to make macaroni and cheese. And I know there's a hundred ways to make macaroni and cheese, but I'm going to show you my way. So I have got what I've done first of all. I'm going to take that off the board in just a minute. Um, I, um, I boiled 16 ounce of elbow macaroni. 16 ounces of, of that and um, with some salt and I cooked it like six minutes. You don't want to cook it um, well, till it's completely done because you're, this macaroni and cheese you're baking in the oven. So don't cook it till it's completely tender because you don't want the macaroni to be mush. So, and then after I cooked it six minutes, I, sometimes people cook it seven minutes. That's just, you determine that about your uh, macaroni. And then you drain the macaroni into uh, another bowl. You use several bowls doing this. And then you put one tablespoon of extra virgin oily oil, olive oil. <laughs> we got a good dishwasher. I laugh because we, we use a lot of bowls and then we sit down and Mike comes in and washes the dishes for us. So anyway, you put your olive oil, extra virgin olive oil in here and stir it around to coat your macaroni because you want your macaroni to get cool before you add your other stuff in. All right, so we've got the macaroni chilled, I mean cool, and I've got, um, I got six tablespoons of butter in a pan, and I'm putting a third a cup, and six tablespoons of butter is the same thing as a third a cup of butter, because you're using equal parts of butter, equal parts of flour. A third a cup of flour in this. Are you through this? I hadn't measured it yet. Oh, okay. <laughs> Sorry, I'm putting you I hadn't even I hadn't made that up yet, Linda. That's me. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm doing like Mike. I'm and I'm using way. Pepper Chef whisk. And um, I'm putting this in here. I'm not browning this, this root. I'm not browning this butter and flour. I'm not trying to get a brown. I just got it melted. The flour and the butter. Melted together. And um open this just a second. Okay. Thank you. Uh, you just wanna, you just wanna cook this until it kind of gets bubbly, not brown, just hot, to kind of bubbly. And uh, I'm checking this off as I go. Well, Linda, she she's still cooking, so I'm can you move this that? To get that out okay, of the she's uh, she's uh, had some other things cooking this morning, so she's moving that. Just let, I just want this flour and uh, oil. I'm flour and butter to be bubbly, and it's bubbling now. So I add four cups of milk, whole milk. Four cups. All right, and, and I whisk that around a little bit. I've got my burner on, kind of medium. All right. I just get that kind of stirred around a little bit, and then I'm going to add one cup of heavy cream, and this is just uh, heavy cream, we, heavy whipping cream that we get in their uh, refrigerated section uh, at, at Kroger's, and it's worth usually where the milk is. So I'm going to put um, one cup. Let me go back. Yeah, one cup of heavy cream. I'll be back. Just All right, Linda. We'll throw that in the trash in a minute. Um, get this to one cup. And I'm going to put this in the refrigerator because it's heavy cream. I'll keep that for you. It's all right. Mm. Okay, we're done with this. We're done with the, we're done with the, and then I'm just stirring around the heavy cream in the milk with the flour and the butter. I hadn't put the heavy cream in there yet, did I? Okay, now I'm finished with what I was doing, so All what right. can I help you That's with? That's good. Um, I think I'm finished with this one, Linda. Thank you. I love this, if you can see it. On That's the right. That's those uh, poor, uh, liquid, liquid measurement, measuring, measuring cups. cups. Yeah, I like those. I threw with this third cup one here, too. Okay. And um, we put, uh, okay, I got that. And I uh, 
this is um how many quarts is this? It's six quarts. Six quarts. This is really too big um for our macaroni, but we didn't have uh what we wanted, so we're using this one. Of course, this is a favorite chef one, but um I grease it, lightly grease the pan that you're putting the macaroni in because it might burn around the edges. So if you put some grease your pan and um, before you put in the oven, you preheat your oven to 350. And um, let's see, let me get my cheese out. Here, I could have brought that over there to you. All right, bring me that box if you don't mind. Okay. The box of... Uh, and if you need the butter in the... Uh, uh, not there. yet, we'll do that not last, okay. yeah. Um, we shredded, it's best to shred your own cheese. We shredded a block of the extra sharp cheddar and the block of the mozzarella cheese. And then I put one pound of Velveeta cheese in here. And that's trash. Okay. Um, I got that all in this bowl here. And um, as soon as this right here kind of gets, um, you cook this for about two minutes, all you're doing is just kind of getting the, the um, Flour and butter incorporated, and um, salt and pepper. Where's your salt and pepper, Linda? Oh. Probably on the table. We had it on the table while ago. We did. did you put it up? Probably, yeah. Okay. All right. That's all right. You know when Mike thank you comes in here, he moves stuff. <laughs> <laughs> we just put a little. We're dash. not complaining. We like no, the help. no, no, no. We got good help. <laughs> little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper. Now, I salt my macaroni when I'm cooking it. You just about have to salt yeah. pasta yeah. when you're cooking it. Okay, now I'm turning my burner up just a little bit because I want this to start getting hot. I don't want it to boil. But then I'm going to put all my cheeses in there. That's a lot of cheese. Uh, if you need okay. a spatula for your cheese. Thank you. You're welcome. Um, and, it, and you might notice that some of my macaroni, if I can get show you, <laughs> some of my macaroni is a little darker yellow than the other one, and that's because I didn't have quite a box of macaroni, because a box of macaroni is too much for my family. And um, so I used a little bit of another box, so it's just a little bit different shade. You got your burner high enough? Yeah. I just, I don't want it to start boiling. I'm, I'm going to put all this cheese in there. It takes, and I'll write the recipe down, it takes six cups of cheese. It takes a lot of cheese. I use like three or four different kinds of cheeses. Uh, do you do you put anything on top of it? Like Ritz uh, crackers or anything? Yeah, I put uh, that um, panko. The panko. panko. Okay. I put panko on top of them. I'll do that one, Linda, if you'll okay. take that for me. Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, so, uh, oh yes, I wanted to tell, uh, um, let me get that scarf. Uh, we got something else in the mail today from one of our followers. Um, all right, we've, uh, we've got our cheese. Um, uh, all of our cheese is in here and it's melted. Our, uh, four cups, six cups of cheese and all the milk and all this and we pour it and, um, our camera had a little bleep, so we poured the we poured the sauce into our on our macaroni. And like I told y'all before, I was afraid that was going to be too much milk, and I was right. I've been cooking macaroni and cheese with these grandkids long. I knew that was too much. I don't know why people post these recipe, uh, you know, does recipes and it's not the right quantity. But anyway. I was I was trying to get y'all the right measurements and, and instead of going by me what I do so anyway we you got make the adjustments on the, I, recipe. the recipe when I post it it will be what it what really takes so let me show let me move this over here uh, this is the macaroni this is the six ounce and um, and then I just put it put the cheese and I, that cheese sauce and I did not put all that cheese sauce that I put in here but um, uh, I will put the right, I'll put the measurements what I think it'll take on the back. Now, Linda, if you'll just slide this bowl over here. Sorry. Yeah, uh, please. Thank you. Okay. And I'm just going to pour this that I mixed in here in our, in our board that we greased. See, doesn't that look good and creamy? It does look good. That is a lot of cheese in there. 
I would still use the same amount of cheese. And no, just, you didn't and put any salt pepper on this. I did put a little bit. Oh, did you? I okay. did put a little bit of salt and pepper. Yeah, I did. Now, like I said, this bowl is a little, this pan here is a little bit big. Um, you know what? I may put another cup of that, that milk, that cheese is getting thicker. I'm open. Would you pour me a little bit more in here for me, please, Linda? That's got cheese in it. That cheese in it. Okay, that's enough. All right. Okay. Okay. We'll do with that. This. And now I'll take. I'll put the crumb on the top. Again? I, I, well, no, I'm no, I won't. Sit down if you do. I probably won't. But you can leave it there until I decide. All right. I'm putting uh, two uh, two tablespoons. Is that what I put in there? Uh, no, it's, uh, actually this is not for three tablespoons, but it really, yeah, three tablespoons of melted butter. We're going to go with that. <laughs> All right. I don't think that it, well, you can I'll operate, that. You have to operate just to that camera. That. Just to melt that butter. That's all I want. And then I've got, um, I've got a cup. The recipe calls for a cup and a half. I only had a cup. So there's a cup of panko in here, melted uh, three tablespoons of melted butter. Yes, I said three tablespoons because I don't have as much pan panko in here. If you want to put the whole cup and a half of panko, then you put four tablespoons. So I will put the recipe the way it really is on there. But what I'm doing is a cup of panko and three tablespoons of butter instead of four. And, uh, and, then, and then it's a half a cup. Let me see here. Let me get this. Uh, and we put a, a fourth a tablespoon, a fourth a teaspoon of paprika, smoked paprika in this. Just gives it a little bit of flavor. And I've got a, a half a cup of Parmesan cheese. And... The, the fresh that you shred yourself would probably be better, but when I picked this up in store yesterday, they didn't have the fresh. Well, you just told me I had I some. I forgot. That's all right. So I just picked up the already. That, that'll be fine, though. So this is panko, the Parmesan cheese, and the and the paprika. And That's I just good. I just uh, stir it around, and then I'm going to put that melted butter. Is it melted? Yep. All right, thanks. Oh, well, I like that was back. Too. That was the free guest oh. item last month. I ain't got Isn't one of them little ones, Linda. I gotta get one of them little ones. Can you, you buy one of these little ones? Yeah, you can. All right, so, and these little cups here, they got the little spout. I just love these. You put in the microwave. Those are one of the handiest things yeah. in the kitchen. And you just uh, the prep put, your, put your melted butter in there. And just stir it up. Just kind of make sure, make sure it's all moistened, so it won't be dry panko, panko, whatever you say it. <laughs> Is it panko, Linda? <laughs> it's getting later in the afternoon, so we're getting a little crazy. I never pronounce things right. Oh, everybody pronounces things different. Okay. And this is, and what I'm, see, that's the Parmesan cheese. Panko and the paprika. And that's going on And top. melted butter. And yeah. it goes on top. And, and again, this has got the little spout. And I'm just going to kind of squeeze it a little bit and then sprinkle it. Instead of sprinkling it with my hands, I'm just going to sprinkle it from the from the container. Yeah, those are so handy. Yeah, these, these little bows, are ma they're flat. They're, they mash them and... They don't stain. Yeah. And they clean up so easy. Now, you don't put a lid on that, right? No. Okay. 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 Now, let me, because uh, it's, it's pretty thick, but that's okay. It makes it kind of makes a crust. All right, Linda. And okay. show them, yeah, show them down a little bit, down. Okay, tilt it up a little bit. There you go. Takes both of us. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. I'm, I'm a little bit off centered when I'm trying to do something in the camera. I, I have to. Uh, I'm Linda is put that in the oven. I'm sorry. Linda's the smartest person I ever known in my life. But when it comes to, comes to this video, I think I got her beat. <laughs> I think she is too. I have to amper. 
on that video. I think she is too. I totally agree. <laughs> and we're going to put this in the oven. Okay. Go in the oven and oven. Need to set the timer for what? Uh, th uh, 350 and we are baking this for 30 minutes. Okay. So we're going to set the timer. So we will, we will be back with you and show you after it comes out of the oven. Okay, we got it out of the oven. This is the mac and cheese. See, it's bubbling hot. That looks so good, We cooked Mary. it for about 35 minutes, actually, because this pan is so large and thick and deep. We uh, we cut it, we cooked it about uh, 35 minutes, and I'll show you. And the panko uh, is nice and golden, too, right. isn't it, the topping? That's the mac and Don't cheese. Doesn't that look good? Doesn't that look good? All right. Don't touch that boiler. I'm, I'm not going to touch that boiler. I'm not touch that boiler. Thank y'all so much. We will see y'all another day. And then remember, we'll be having a video on about how to order cookbooks on Friday. You'll see that video Friday. Okay. Bye. We bye love y'all. Love you. Guess we cut it off.